Hey, what's up, my YouTuber? Welcome to a review video about the uh, Pilot Automotive wheel cover for the uh, 95 Toyota Camry. I think 95, 97, 98 will fit. Oh, right, guys, I totally forgot to say something. Uh, this video it is a review and installation as well. So it's going to be take about 10 minutes video and you'll be fully loaded with information. Let's get into it and then check it out. I'll be back. Okay, let's start. That's the part number and then uh, the part number it uh, depends what color, what size you order. And over here it should be the uh, rim number, like the 14, 15, 16, etc. And then your question is, you may ask, is it made in China? Uh, I don't know. On the box, it does not say anything about uh, where is it made. But in this instruction right here, with this instruction, it's helpful. It looks like it's good. I like it so far. But it says over here in that, uh, like a part number, you know, it says over here, uh, Taiwan part number 124111, and then of course, USA and China. Okay, before we get really excited about where is it made, let's just say it's made in China. Because if you are living in this uh, century, it's nothing really made in USA right now. Everything is made in China. Okay, um, before I uh, encourage you guys to uh, ban this stuff or anything, this uh, video is uh, my own. I pay this product for my own money. So I'm not going to uh, do anything that other people do. So I'm going to be honest. So here, here they come, they not uh, come in a, like other people say, oh, the box is so squishy, so smooth, you know. I'm not going to say that, you know, this is how it comes. They in this plastic bag, and then uh, there is for a ring, or hoop, how you call it, that's how they look like. It goes around here. Okay, here they are right here, let's open them. Now they open, here like four of the hoops and of course four of the plastic. They are very looking very good. Uh, plastic is very nice, I like it. This is no damage, it's nothing broke, no scratch, nothing. Sorry guys, I think I got excited so much on the uh, first two clips, three clips. Uh, but I'm going to try to slow down right now, I forgot my accent's not really bad. So um, this ring over here, these hoops over here, they will go in here and then I uh, hope you can see it uh, right here. Uh, if you put it uh, on the fortune up here, it would be like uh, for a bigger wheel or something like that. And then if you uh, put it right here, it's for a um, smaller one, but it says it's large and medium right there. Let's go ahead, put one in there. Hope, uh, it, let's put one in right there and right there and then put them in position. I don't know, you can see it, but it's very easy to do it. It's, you don't need no instruction for this. Here you go, it's on there right now, see? Right there, that's how it look like. Perfect. Now, let's see if it will fit on the car. This is the 1997 Toyota Camry uh, stock over here. Uh, ends up this stuff uh, will not fit this ring. It is the same size, it's 14 and it's 14. But the reason why it will not uh, work for me. Okay, um, see this side over here hope you can see it I don't know if you can see it or not but uh, right here see that over here and this is different so um, this one on my 
it will win work if this one on this side because this is that uh, uh vibe uh steam over here it's supposed to go right here so this is supposed to go right there in the bio steam and uh this one it should be on the uh left over here if i'm looking up right there but if i'm looking down the bottom it should be on the right but it should be left right here so uh, if i do this like this and the valve steam hole it goes right here but if i do this go to valve steam right here and that one ends up right here the reason because there is that uh key or knob over there i think it's a key you know so it, that will go inside this and it pops in there so what i'm really going to do right now child not to i really hate going through this stuff to send it back to amazon what i'm going to do i'm going to charge to, to uh, cut one of this off or crown it off one of these or two of these over here i don't know if you can see it right there uh one of these two of these over here i'm going to crown it off and then hopefully it will end up like this one right here that way it will pop in there and another thing guys and another thing before everything this is like i said this is honest review i still don't like it even if it's this on this side here's that a valve steam away even if this on this side i still don't like it because the uh, hoop over here is like straight it's supposed to be like a curve in or curve out let's see the old one here's the new one on the top and this is that uh, old one at the bottom as you can see the uh, bow steam over here and then supposed to be bow steam over here too and the old one as you can see the hoop is like going down and the hoop, hoop over here is straight so what will happen when i connect uh install it right now the bow steam it will push against the rim but if i leave it outside here it will if you leave it inside here it will push it against the uh, inside it's not good in your case you may have the same problem because most tire it's gonna have that valve steam over there so you most likely you gotta have this one but on my other uh, problem on the key over here you may not have that one so you might you may not gonna have that problem you can install it anywhere in it where you want to because but the only problem is gonna be have 100 percent i guarantee that it's this one here the valve steam right here let's ground this one off over here and then install it That's smooth and soft. They all cut right now. It should slide in there. But before you slide it in, get some uh, all purpose grease. Kind of go around here a little bit. That will be easy to slide it in there, especially on this one right here. And then uh, also clean your uh, rim. I'm sure there is some debris in there or scratch on the rim try to send it off if you can that way it will be smooth to slide in there in my case i'm just going to clean my out and then i uh, push this on there so this is good to go right now it should slide that easy with no trouble at all don't put too much grease if not it's going to be greasy everywhere and that's not good okay that's one in there already uh, it looks good it's not in easy like i wanted to so uh, now i don't have to send it back to amazon i know how hard to send it back or oh, this hazard uh kind of there is still up on this right now but i may need to screw it around a little bit and move it up there but as you can see or oh, i told you about the uh bow steam pushing against the the in the original rim over here it's pushing against there it should be out a little bit like in the middle like this but it's pushing against there but if this is the only option we got it looks good i mean uh, 
I wouldn't complain even if I don't have any option. So what I'm going to do to make it best for me, I'm going to try to use the uh, old hoop instead of this new one. So I'm going to like line it up like this with that uh, valve steam hole right there. And then I'm going to mark it right here. I'm going to try to cut it right in the middle right here. Somewhere over there. That should do it right there. Hope so. Let's see. There you go. Alright guys. Finally this is the fourth one. I made all kind of mistake. I tell you how, how, what kind of mistake I made. Uh, first, when I did the first one, see this uh, curve over here is supposed to be over here by the, uh, the uh, valve steam hole. But the first one I did it like this, it's like this, so it's up. So I end up cutting right here. So when I install it, it end up on this side. But the cut supposed to be in this side. So uh, the second one I did, uh, I cut one inches up between here, and the ring it's too small now; it become useless. So um, the third one I did, I measure this one here, and then I cut it right here, and then right here, and then it end up. The hole over here when I install it end up this way like that hope you can see it like that over here and then it's way far away from the hole right here so now I'm going to do it aim it exactly hope the fourth one is going to be okay it's just a purpose video I'm not going to use it no more because I'm going to end up using the new one that comes with this thing so uh, it sh you should if it's straight over here, you should mark it right here in that uh, little bit away from the center, the middle right here. And then at this time, because the one I did, it was one inch. I cut up one inch. So this time it needs to be a half inch from here. That means uh, it's going to be... Right here all right last one let's see if we succeed this time uh it's i made a lot of mistake today all right it's in let's see how will it fit hope it's better than the other ones Holy smoke, it popped. Well, this is salt right there. Okay, guys, it's in here right now. I'm going to say I am uh, 75%. It's my fault that this fell off because that hoop. Uh, I had to cut down to about three quarters half of it because I did only a half. So it was very really tight to go in there. I had to like uh, force it to go in. So this one ended up popping up. So there is a uh, 75%. It is my fault. It's not the uh, maker, not the company. Uh, you better have to use the original one. These guys right here. I only did this for a uh, video purpose, that way you get any other idea to use this. As of right now, I end up uh, using three of these on the other one. They look fine, they look okay, but over here it is a lot better right here. There is so many uh, space to go, this and go around, so um, over here it is a little bit loose if you really pull on it, but if not, it's like... This over here is tight as can be. Alright, start from here. That's uh, where I used the uh, original hoop over there. And there's the new one over here. 
and then on the back right here i use the uh new one that comes with this cover which you can see it's still loose a little bit but it's not much it's just a feel a pull on it uh i say this is a hundred percent quality fit right there it's perfect uh the only thing is a little bit different is the valve steam over like pushing against the rim over here but there is plenty of space so it really shouldn't be much difference so um i say this is a good uh part i'm not going to say the excellent product but this is a good one you better have to use the new uh a hoop over there as you can see right there it looks good as well instead of using the rusty one but this is looks good right there this is the right rear and that's the front over here my tire is flat already but um it looks good over here i'm going back just a little bit i know i don't talk too much but um my opinion about this product uh other than the, the than the one i had to cram that down or cut it off to fit in that key thing over there um this product it is it is there is a uh, 85 percent i like it it's very good the only thing i say that because um it's the uh, little hoop over there kind of pushing against the uh valve steam but it is not very much it's very little so it's very it's good so that's why i say uh 80 percent because after one thing i had to grind it down in order to fit the uh, 97 toyota camry in your case it may be 100 percent quality nice shiny perfect fit like that but on my case that's 80 percent good quality so that being said guys i appreciate you watching this video i hope this was helpful for you help you out if it does you know what guys you know what to do share my video subscribe like that's the only favor i ask you guys to to help me out i know there's a lot of hateful people out there and I understand that I'm a brown guy, I'm a short guy, there's people hate me, you know, but it, that, it doesn't let that bother me. That means, guys, until next video, bye-bye.